Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 8th, okay? So I just cut the deck. I just picked this deck. I didn't look at it. We have the Magician on the bottom, and I cut it to the Seven of Wands. So this is being caught off guard, the Seven of Wands, being in a tough position, fighting for something, dealing with opposites. Somebody may be taking action and fighting for something. It just came to me just like that. This is an awakening, just like that. You know, so this is like putting up a fight, taking action, doing something. being divinely guided i believe um, we have somebody here that believes that they can that they can do this it's like they're being guided this is like it is we have a very strong skilled individual here this person is a warrior um doesn't give up easily is not intending to give up this looks like some sort of battle to me like this is like facing a challenge not giving up somebody's about to do something they they don't plan on giving up they're not going to give up they're not going to give up i just focused on the roses in this card so this may have to do with love it may have to do with romance doesn't have to be though. There's definitely some opposition here. With the Seven of Wands, that's opposition. So somebody's ready. It's like they're ready to fight. That's what it looks like to me. Get prepared, get prepared, get prepared. Oh, I quit smoking 10 days ago. I forgot to tell you guys, not one cigarette, 10 days. Feel great too. I'm so glad. Just cold turkey. Anyhow, what do we got? What do we got for a message today? What do we have for a message today? Oh my God! You saw me shuffle. Seven of Wands. Come on now. Strong energy here. Seven of Wands is fighting for something, not giving up the position. There's this like, there's obviously some sort of competition here. Or there's some sort of struggle. We have somebody here that is going to need to defend their position or defend themselves. Or they're going to be fighting for something. This is some sort of battle. Okay. This is like warding off. Warding off the competition. So somebody may be warding off the competition. There could be some haters here. Somebody may be you know, uh, up against a bunch of haters or a bunch of people that don't like them or somebody that's trying to take them down. Um, but there, there could be somebody here that wants to ward off the competition from something else. This is somebody that is unwilling to give up and don't, they're not going to give up. It's like, I'm not going to give up my position. This is what I believe in. And the magician is about believing. <laughs> so fighting for what you believe in. Hmm. Fighting for what you want. Fighting for success. Hermit. Hermit. A hermit is a time of introspection. Going within. Re-identification. Soul searching. Conscious awareness. Jesus consciousness. Um, Re-identification. This is somebody that has a lot of wisdom, that has a lot of um, life experience. And it's like, it feels like they're, they need to hold on to what they know. Hold on to what you know. 
I feel like we have somebody here that's also, I think I said it at the beginning with a magician, a spiritual awakening. I feel like we have somebody here that has been reflecting and it was just like that. You know, it was just like that, taking action just like that. I think we have somebody here that's been reflecting, they've been thinking, they've been going within and uh, contemplating and soul searching and they've come to some sort of conclu conclusion. This is like seeing the light, right? This is becoming enlightened. So I do feel like we have somebody here that has become enlightened and they're about to do something. Um, I feel like it's a surprise. I do feel like it's a surprise. This is somebody who has become consciously aware of something and now they're going to, I don't know, it's like deal with something. They're about to deal with it. They're about to oh, fight for something. Ooh, Nine of Cups. So Nine of Cups is wish fulfillment, right? It's happiness, it's success, it's uh, having it all. This person appears to be going overboard a little bit though. So we have somebody here that may be going overboard. They may be going to extremes. Um, I don't know if there's some sort of celebration that is coming up, some sort of get together, whatever is happening. I feel like we have somebody here that is going after wish fulfillment. Okay, they are. This is somebody that, that, I feel like we have somebody here that has it all, okay? They, this is somebody that is abundant, obviously. This is somebody that is abundant, that isn't lacking for anything, you know? Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles about investment. Is it worth it? Should I invest in this? Should I or shouldn't I? I feel like we have somebody here that is thinking about going someplace else. This is season is over. If you notice the light, the leaves are turning. The season is over. What's up next? What am I gonna do now? Where should I go? What should I do? It's underneath the Seven of Wands. So we have somebody here that has probably been overindulging in some way. Because the Nine of Cups is kind of like in the past. I feel like we have somebody here who has been, maybe they've been eating too much cake or wanting their cake and eating it too. Or they've just been complacent or something like that. Now it's like this time is up. The time is up. The time is up. And the same with the hermit, the time is up. It's uh, this time of reflection, this time of, of loneliness. Somebody's been lonely, even if they're in a partnership, okay? Something is about to change. The season is about to change. Get prepared. I think you are unprepared. Somebody is unprepared. Tower reversed. Wonderful. Major, major extreme disruption. Uh, major, major change. Unavoidable change. We had this yesterday. This is unavoidable. It's been avoided up until now. We have somebody here that has probably been overindulging. That's what it looks like to me in that Nine of Cups. Somebody has been going overboard. This, maybe this person was lazy or they were self-medicating, or they were just being lazy, they weren't investing. This may have to do with health. Somebody is gonna be caught off guard. They absolutely are. It's time to invest. It's time to wake up. Wake up, wake up. This is definitely a wake up call. I know that it is. It's time to take action. Okay, this is unhealthy, it's unstable, it's insecure, it's crumbling, it's crumbling fast. 
Okay, there could be a, somebody could be getting thrown out. They may be moving out. This could be a fight. This could be an internal disruption. This is a painful change. This could be health problems. Okay, it's a loss, a permanent loss. Somebody has been avoiding, they've been avoiding this challenge. They have. Seven of Wands is a challenge. We've seen it twice. You cannot avoid this challenge any longer. The light is about to be shed on the whole situation. Okay, it's been hidden up until now. Not anymore. Uh uh. Major, major, major change. It's time to relocate or invest. Seven of Pentacles, Tower Reverse, the right together. Being caught off guard. It's time. It's time. It's time to deal with this falseness. It's time to deal with this, this uh, unstable situation. Yes, sir. It is. There's going to be some sort of disruption that forces... It forces change. It does. It forces somebody. It does. Somebody's about to be forced. Forced to fight. Forced to take action. That's what the magician is about. Take action. The seven of wands is fight. Forced. Forced to wake up and see the, see the light. See the light. See the light. You're going to see the fucking light. About time. Mm, been in denial. Overdoing it, self-medicating, going overboard, either drinking too much, eating too much, spending too much, whatever. False sense of security, crumbling. Something that happened years ago is coming back around to be dealt with now. May have to do with the number seven. This is a shock. It's a shock. So somebody's about to be shocked. They're about to be surprised. Never saw it coming. Dismantling. There's a dismantling here. This is extremes. Extreme. Some, there's something extreme going on. We have somebody here that is thinking. They're really, really thinking. They're thinking about their investments. They're thinking about their future. They've been thinking about it for a while. They've been in a false foundation, a false sense of security, and they've been uh, avoiding confrontation. Right? They yeah. have. But now there's, there's, there's going to be some sort of change. Justice. Justice. Now this is Libra season. It's about realignment, right? Doing the right thing. This has to do with karma. It has to do with a contract. It's about being honest and upfront. Leaving behind the false sense of security. Doing the right thing. So somebody is going to be investing in something. There's some sort of truth that is being accepted. Somebody's been thinking about the truth. They're realizing the truth. They may be pushing away a false sense of security. You know, they may be. They may be pushing away their false sense of security because they've been thinking about investing in more fertile ground because where they're at, it's definitely not fertile. It's over. The season is over. The time is up, right? They've been overdoing it and they want wish fulfillment. This person has been... Uh, Avoiding the confrontation, but now it feels like it's time. It's time. It's time to come out of hiding. It's time to wake up. This is some sort of awakening. It is. I feel like we have somebody here that's got, got, gone through a spiritual awakening. They've gained a lot of wisdom through whatever this contract is, the false contract that they got themselves involved with, the tower reverse next to the justice, which is a false contract. This is not going back to the past. So for those of you that are going to comment in the section below, it's my karmic, or it's, it's my DM and that's his karmic. No. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Nope. 
This is about leaving the past false sense of security behind that you have been holding on to. The false contract. It's not about the person you're waiting on. That's your false contract. If, if you have to wait for somebody to love you, you're in a state of delusion. Because love doesn't have to wait. It's natural. It's not the karmic that is holding on to your DM or your DF. It's you that needs to wake up. If somebody loves you, they will be with you, period. But you can live in delusion if you want and, and, and be sold the fantasy. Or you can wake up and invest in something new because that's what this is. You can invest in something that is true, but you have to be honest with yourself. Somebody is making a decision I feel like there's going to be, I feel like we have an uprooting here. Seven of Pentacles, tower reversed. They're gonna be making a decision. Uh, they've become enlightened. They're seeing the truth. Hermit with justice right together. Hermit and then justice, they're together. That's seeing the truth. Somebody is seeing the truth. They're going to be making a decision about this false sense of security. They're, they've been thinking about it for a while. They're ready. They're ready. They're ready. I think that they, 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 we may have somebody here that is ready to uh, get out of the false sense of security, honestly, and invest in something else. Three of swords on the bottom. That is this painful separation. It really is. This is grief. This is suffering. This is pain. It's a rejection. We have a painful separation here. We may also have some heart problems. I see health problems. Somebody is going to need to fight. They're going to need to fight for, for, their, for what they want. For, for they're going to need to fight for happiness. You know, you need, to, you need to fight for what you deserve. Okay? Justice is about fighting for what you deserve. It's also about acting with integrity and being honest and upfront. Somebody's going through a spiritual awakening and they're realizing what they deserve. And I feel like we have somebody here that's going to be standing their ground and they're going to be dealing with any opposition that comes along the way as they make their decision to move forward. It's almost like it's time to go. It's time to go. But there's so much delusion that is being sold. It's sick. Mmm, three of cups reversed, just fell out. That is parting ways. Parting ways from friends, family, or a relationship. This is dashed expectations. This is a loss. It's a loss. It's an emotional loss. This isn't something to celebrate. Right? 
I feel like we have a third person here. The party is over. The party is over. This extreme competitiveness. We have somebody here that has definitely, definitely, definitely been overindulging. They've been going overboard, maybe even cheating. This is a termination. It is. It's a termination of a friendship or a relationship. There's a lack of emotional growth. There's no happiness. The party is over. There is a separation here. There definitely is. Making a decision, a fair and just decision. Seeing the light, separating, separating. There's gossip. There is definitely gossip here. Seven of Wands and the Three of Cups reversed. There's gossip. There's people talking. Somebody's overindulging. I don't know if there's drinking here as well. Somebody could be drinking and getting in a fight. You know, they could be getting drunk. And the law gets involved. I mean, we could have news of legalities here or the law coming in. You know, this is, there's, there could be an explosion here. Oh, it could even be an accident. It's unavoidable change, whatever is happening. This is a false sense of security. It's false stability. You know, it's been upright. It's been okay up until now. It's not okay anymore. It's time. It's time to start over. It's time to start over. It's time to start over. It's time to rebuild. It's time to start over. It's time to heal. Right? Isn't it? Eight of Pentacles reversed. Something ain't working out. It ain't. Okay? Something's not working out. It's not. There's a lack of effort. Somebody's not putting in much effort. They're not really interested in the job. They're not really interested in the position. You know, they're not trying hard enough. They're not, they're not putting in any effort. pentacles in reverse on the bottom that is a total loss it is a disaster this is losing it all definitely insecure we have the collapse the collapse of an empire this is fighting over money maybe marrying for money we have an unstable business or home life or foundation that you know there's an unstable foundation here completely unstable very this is like losing it all there could definitely be a change in living circumstances. Massive debts, overspending. We have somebody here that's been putting off false impressions. Big, 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 big time. Definitely, again, with the Three of Cups reversed, the Tower reversed, and the Ten of Pentacles reversed. This is somebody who's been putting off false impressions. It's like they pretend that they're happy to the outside world, but they are not. They're not happy. It's a very unhealthy situation. Making a final decision to depart. Somebody is, is choosing to depart from a, a false sense of security, whether it's a business or it's a home thing or it's a health. There could be, there's whatever's happening, it's a major disruption. And now it's time to invest. It is time to invest. Whatever's going on, it's time to invest. It's time to invest in, in something real. It's time to invest in the truth. It's time to invest in uh, a new foundation, a stronger foundation. Somebody may have cheated. You know, they've been, they've been cheating. You know, they've been cheating themselves. The cheating is right next to the hermit, which is about self. Somebody's been cheating themselves of um, what they deserve by engaging in something that is false.
that doesn't really serve them. There's no growth. It may have had short-lived success for a little while. It may have been successful for a little while. At first, it looked really good, you know, but then it stopped growing just like that. I was like, shit, there's nothing here. It's a dead end. Yeah, at first it looked real good and they overindulged, whatever, and now it's like gross. Time to get healthy, however that resonates with you. Whether it's a healthy body or a healthy relationship or a healthy foundation or a healthy job, that's what this is about. It's, it's about defending yourself and protecting yourself and doing what's right and being honest with yourself and removing the false senses of security from your soul from your soul being. The hermit is about soul. It's time to deal with the challenge. You cannot avoid the challenge forever. This is about avoiding challenge, great personal fear, overwhelmed, angry. It's like I'm angry. I got a lot of hard feelings about everything life has given me. Well, you need to do something different. Stop playing the victim. If you want success, if you want happiness, if you want abundance, you have to deal with the challenge. You have to get in the position. You have to fight for what you deserve. Unless you want to live in lack and false pretenses and a false sense of security for the rest of your life. That's a lonely life to live. There is loneliness here. Somebody has chosen to live a lonely life and you can be in a partnership, you know, that where there's where there's no reciprocation. Does it look like there's any love in these cards? There absolutely is not. All right. There's cheating going on by the looks of things or gossip or family feuding, family fights. Don't look like any kind of love here. No reciprocating love. Somebody isn't putting in effort because they've chosen somebody else, you know. But there's denial over the whole situation. Anyhow. <laughs> Sorry, it makes me upset. I mean, I, I'm literally that seven of wands, you know, fighting against all the faults bullshit that's being spread out there. Whew. He's with the karmic. She's with the karmic. You're the twin flame. <laughs> you know how stupid that sounds? Where's your common sense? You're the karmic. If somebody wants to be with you, they will be with you. Obsessed. This is an obsession. This is an infatuation. This is lust. It's toxic. It's codependency. Somebody is codependent on a health, unhealthy situation. It's an addiction. It's an obsession. And you must break free. You have to find your strength. You have to protect yourself. You have to defend yourself. You have to break those chains. You have to. This is like an addiction, okay? This this can lead to this can lead to death. This is overdoing it. And I do see overindulging. I see overindulging. I see overdoing it. I see bondage. I see toxic. I see an unhealthy situation. This is tied to a situation that you can break free from. You have to do what's right. You have to be honest with yourself. Somebody needs to find a way to sever ties. This is about severing ties from a codependent situation. You have to break free or things are only going to get worse. 
They're only gonna get worse. So this is about severing ties from a toxic situation and defending yourself, pushing away the toxic behavior. Good luck.